I've been getting a ton of postcards in the mail from you guys. This is really cool. These are just the ones from today. So I just want to say thank you for sending them. I really appreciate it. I love reading the messages that you guys write. And I'm putting them in the postcard bin up here for the monthly giveaway. I'm going to do a monthly giveaway on the 15th of every month. I'm usually a little bit behind on putting videos out. So if I record it on the 15th, it might take a couple days to get out. But I'll do my best to get it out as close to the 15th as possible. The giveaway for... September the 15th is going to be this Garage Flips mug. Uh, my buddy Lonnie is selling these to raise money for breast cancer research. And all of his proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. So I bought two of these and I'm giving one away. So send in a postcard and you'll be entered to win this. And if you don't win this, you'll be entered to win future ones. Somebody sent out a couple bonus postcards that I just thought were really cool that I wanted to show you guys. These are both vintage cards. This one says a message from Cincinnati, the Queen City of the West. That is just a really cool graphic. And then this is Crosley Field, home of the Cincinnati Reds. They played here until 1969 or 1970. Those came from John and he has an eBay store and a YouTube channel called Popeye's Postcards where he exclusively sells postcards, like thousands and thousands and thousands of postcards. It's pretty cool if you guys haven't seen it, I will put a link in the description below. But John, thank you for the postcards. They're really cool. Uh, the bonus ones you sent, I think I'm just gonna put right there on the wall. I think they look pretty good. I wanna give another shout out to Tyler. He sent me this bat. This thing is really cool. This is a vintage Louisville Slugger bat and it is a team issued Cincinnati Reds bat. Cincinnati Reds, Louisville Slugger. Um, this was probably just a generic batting practice bat, not issued to a certain uh, player or anything. You can see it's definitely been used a little bit. And I'm gonna do my best to find a spot on the wall for this thing too. Thank you, Tyler. This thing's really cool. I picked up these Bitsy Bear toys at a garage sale for $3, maybe like three or four months ago. And had them listed pretty high for a while because they're pretty rare. And, you know, over time I slowly just kept jumping the price a little bit. I think I had it around 40 or 50 bucks for best offer. Somebody sent me a best offer of $25 plus shipping and I took it. Got this brass tabernacle door at the 127 yard sale in Tennessee. I paid 10 bucks for it and let's send it for like 200 or best offer and a viewer sent me an offer of $99 plus shipping and it's going out to Eric. So Eric, thank you very much for the offer and hope you like this thing. I don't know if you're gonna like repurpose it or what, but whatever you end up doing with it, send me a picture, I'm curious. I sold this DVD series set of Christy. I got this at Tracy's Garage Sale. She was actually a viewer. Uh, it was a stack of DVDs I got for 25 bucks and this one actually sold for $32.99 free shipping. Sold a deck of tarot cards. Here they are. I got these a while back at a garage sale. I think I paid a buck or two. They sold for $9.99 free shipping and a viewer bought them. Sadie. So Sadie, hope you like these. Thanks for your support. Next thing with shipping is a little pin. Probably at the bottom of this tote. There it is. This is a KRLA AM radio station pen. I got this in a lot of pens a while ago, maybe six months ago. I think I maybe paid five bucks for all of them. I've sold quite a few of them already. This might be the last one I have left. I took a best offer of $8 free shipping on this. Next thing we're pulling is an Xbox controller. Got this at a garage sale for a buck or two, and it sold for $16.99 free shipping. Sold another Tyco battery. I showed you guys these last week. I had sold one, and I just sold the other one. Um, paid like 50 cents for this thing. It's the charger and the battery, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next thing shipping out is... Oakley sunglasses case. This was with all the stuff that my neighbor just put out at his curb. <laughs> I've sold a ton of stuff from all that. Uh, this sold for $9.99 free shipping. Next thing going out the door is a pair of Reebok shoes. I got these retail arbitrage for about 10 bucks or so. I actually got a number of pair. I think this might be the last one left. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing going out is this bicycle lube. I got this retail arbitrage for a dollar and it sold for $5.99 free shipping and a viewer bought it. This is going out to Nolan. Nolan, thanks for the support, man. Hope you like it. 
All right, next up is a garage door opener. Okay, this is a garage sale for like $1.50 and it sold for $19.99, free shipping. I've always done really good with garage door stuff. Either like keypads or sensors or whatever it is, they always seem to do well. Okay, next thing is another viewer sale. This puzzle here. I got this for either a dollar or two dollars. I think it was at a church sale. Anytime I find sealed puzzles, I pick them up. I had this listed for like 15 or best offer, and a viewer sent me an offer of $12 plus shipping, so this is going on to Jerry. Jerry, thank you so much for your business, and hope you like the puzzle. Show you guys good boxes to use for puzzles, board games, and various items of that type of shape. Uh, this is the Priority Mail 1092 box. Uh, my post office has these, but some don't. Uh, if yours doesn't have them, you can get them on USPS.com for free. All right, next up is a charger. I have a couple in here, so I'm going to make sure it's the right one. Yeah, this is it. This is a charger for um, a Canon camcorder. I got this for a buck at a garage sale, and it sold for $14.99, free shipping. Anytime I find branded chargers like this, like Sony, Canon, Panasonic, if they're really cheap, I just grab them, because uh, they're pretty good sale sellers. Sold another video game. This is Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth. Got this at a garage sale for a buck. It sold for $8.99, free shipping. All right, next thing we're pulling is this Phonak TV link. I didn't even know what this was when I bought it, but it connects hearing aids uh, so that you can watch TV and listen a little bit easier. I got this in like a bag sale at a church. I ended up paying like 10 bucks for the whole box, and there were just all kinds of really great stuff in there, and this was in there too. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing we're shipping is this guy right here. This is a vintage Texas Instruments Data Man. Uh, that's like a learning calculator. I guess from the 80s? No, 1977. I got this at a garage sale for five bucks. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is tucked away behind all these Legos that I still haven't moved. Where is it at? There it is. It's a belt buckle I picked up for a buck or two at a garage sale. It sold for $16.99 free shipping. Next thing is a Star Wars figure going out to a viewer named Tylen, and this was in a lot of stuff that my neighbor had in a garage sale, and he just kind of wanted the rest of it gone, and I just paid him for the rest of it, and this was in there. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping, and it is a Snow Trooper from the Battle of Hoth series. So, Tylen, thank you, bud. Hope you like this. Next order going out is this bobblehead. This is the University of Tennessee mascot. I got him at the Highway 70 sale for a dollar and he sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Next item's going out to a viewer named Dustin. Uh, this is a Sohio pamphlet that was given out at the gas stations, I'd say probably 50, 60, something like that. I got this at a garage sale on like a stack of paper ephemera. I might have like 50 cents or a buck into it. I took a best offer of $8.50 free shipping. Paper ephemera is not worth a whole lot of money, but I just enjoy finding it and kind of flipping through and reading it before I sell it. Dustin, hope you like this, man. Thank you for the support. Next thing we're pulling is Harry Mason DVDs. Season 5, yeah, 1 and 2. Picked these up at a garage show over the weekend. Um, got a whole stack of movies for 25 and this set here sold for $17.99 free shipping. Next thing going out is another DVD set. This is Person of Interest Season 3. I got this at the 127 sale in Tennessee. Paid $3.50 for it. It sold for $15.99. Free shipping. All right, next thing we're shipping out is a set of bowls. These are custom craft bowls. I got this whole set for two bucks. There's eight of them all together. I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. I sold another one of these um, Toshiba car stereos. Uh, this sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Next thing going out is a vintage baby toy. This thing's got a suction on it. So like 
it would suction into a table and uh, like swing around for a baby to play with. I had this listed for like 40 or best offer and took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. And it's going out to a viewer named Robert. So Robert, thank you very much for the support in your business and hope you like the toy. Next thing going out is this Disney cast member pen from 2008. I got this on vacation actually. We were at a garage sale, but he had a whole bunch of Disney pens. I paid her 10 bucks for this one and it sold for $19.49 free shipping. All right, last thing going out today are these Oral B brush heads. Got these retail arbitrage for a couple bucks and they sold for $16.99 free shipping. All right, I got all the Lego minifigures separated out. Check it out. There are 119 of these little guys. Pretty cool ones too. I'm not sure all the heads and everything match like perfectly the way they should, but there's some cool ones in here. So I'm gonna do an auction lot with all these minifigures, and I'm also gonna include all the Lego booklets that came in that lot too, and I'm gonna do it on YouTube. I'm actually going to be on an auction show this Saturday night. It's August 24th, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's on the Mothership Products channel. It's a good friend of mine named Dwayne. I've done it a handful of times, and Dwayne's just a pro. He knows what he's doing. He's done it a couple years now, and it's just a lot of fun. He has people on, and they auction stuff on the YouTube show live. If you want to bid on the stuff, you have to send him an email. His email address is mspauctionshow at gmail.com. You need to send you a real name, what your YouTube handle name is, and your shipping address, and he'll get you set up to bid. I'll put all that info down below. I got an email I wanted to read to you guys. This comes from Danny. He says, how do you figure out what your shipping is going to be on your listings? Especially with the different size boxes and or packaging and of course the weight. So what I do is right next to my shipping station here, I have a scale. Um, it's just a little scale. It's nothing fancy, but it does the job. It's pretty accurate with ounces. And what I do is <clears throat> I will list an item and as I'm listing it, I'll put it on the scale and get the weight. And I'll generally add a pound, maybe a little bit more for the box and the packing material. If it is something really light and I know it's going to go into bubble mailer, I'll just add an ounce for the bubble mailer. And then as far as box dimensions, typically what I do is I'll measure the item. And if I don't think it needs a lot of packing material, I'll just kind of add like a couple inches to each size. And what I've been doing recently, um, <clears throat> because of the change in prices of USPS for bigger items, if something's like bigger than a 12 by 12 by 12 and it weighs four or five pounds, I'll usually have FedEx ground or FedEx home delivery as the first option that the buyer sees. And then the second option is like priority mail. Danny, thanks for the email. I really appreciate it. If you guys have questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is in the description below. I might feature it in a future video. If you've already sent emails and I haven't replied to them, I apologize. I try to reply to as many emails and comments as I can. I really appreciate all the feedback and questions that you guys send my way. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>